Hello! Welcome to the return of Minecraft Monday. Um, because, well, Oblivion wasn't playing well and, um, I don't know, I, I couldn't get it fixed in time. So I decided to try Minecraft. We're do going to play MC Eternal, which is a mod pack I've never played before, so we're just creating a new world. Um, I don't know, it's got magic in it, it's got technology, it sounds like a fun thing. We're going to call the world, um... This is MC Eternal, so we're going to live in Eternia, like in He-Man. And it's going to be... Is it spelled with an I or an E? I'm going to go with an I. Hello, Hicklable. Welcome. Uh, game mode, survival or hardcore create... Survival, I think. More world options. Do we want those? Oh, hang on. Yeah, Eternia. Yeah, I think it's fine. I don't want to click preview. Let's just create it. I don't know what preview does, to be completely honest. This is Minecraft version 1.12.2, so I think it's quite an old one. Um, oh, by the way, is my microphone working tonight? Because I know last night, whatever reason, it didn't. I know why it didn't, because I unplugged it to see if I could use the wire to charge my phone, and then, woof, didn't work. And when I plugged it back in, it's it just didn't register it as my microphone. Had to jiggle the cable a bit. I think I left it out just a tiny smidge. So let's hope this game works. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, very low res, actually. Or my UI is set to the wrong size. I'm going to have to change that. Hang on. Um, Where's my UI scaling? Better FPS, music and sounds, video settings. I think it's in here. GUI scale, nope, too small. Normal. Perfect, and here we go. Okay, we are in the world of Eternia. There's something like 750 quests in this. So if we if this series turns out to be a lot of fun, then we can really keep it going a good while. Um, if it doesn't, then we can end it quickly, because it's Minecraft. It's open-ended, you know? Um, okay, you'll notice I have footprints now in this mod pack. I can hear some crows and see something over there. But I've started next to this house. So let's take a look inside and see. This could be my new home. I could... Oh, crap. Oh, no. What? I've been poisoned somehow. Are these poison... They're wither webs. Okay. Gonna have to be careful. I can I can get a sword and clear those out. This can be my, my new uh, starter house, I guess. This is where I'll set up for now. Um, there's also this weird temple thing over here. I thought that tower was part of it. But I think I don't think it is. I think it's just um, a little watery temple. Kind of nice. Good bit of scenery. Um, I don't know if it does anything. Is that an owl? Oh my god, it is. Oh, look, I've got a quest already. It says, destroy the tree. Hold down, left click. Uh, hang on. My auto jump is on. Um, that shouldn't be the case. No one uses auto jump. Um, this tree, no, that one's too nice. I'm, I'm going to punch down this one, this little tiny bastard over here. Land is just littered with these structures. Um, I don't know what any of them are. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Does it want me to destroy a particular tree or just trees in general? Because I've destroyed one, but um, it's not changing the quest. Maybe it means this one. Oh, never mind. I've got some wood anyway. Um, elder wood. Gives me elder planks which can make... Oh yeah, they work like normal planks. So, get a crafting table down and we can get started on things. Is that a TARDIS? Over there? Oh, this has the hats mod on it. Okay. Well, let's 
That means we, we unlock these hats by, like, killing things. So I might as well. Maybe it wants me to destroy this tree. I don't know. Or this one over here. For some reason, that one didn't seem to count. <clears throat> oh, God. Someone shooting at me. Yeah, there's arrows. Oh. This guy? Is he shooting at me or just is he just shooting that chicken? Like, maybe he's friendly enough. Oh, no. I don't think he is. I think... Uh, is he an, an illager? I didn't think they were in this version of the game. Um, okay. What I'm going to do is make myself an axe. Because that will make cutting down trees easier. And I'll make myself a sword because... Then I can cut my way into the house. Yeah. Like this. Ah, oh, there's a hole in the ceiling and everything. It's kind of nice, though. Like, there's work to be done. But this is an okay uh, starter base, I think. There's a nicer house over there. Um, what do we got in here? Mango sapling, book and quill... Emerald, baloney sandwich, crystal flower. I'll just take everything. Quest completed, crystal flower. Okay, hang on. I'm going to have to have a look at my quest book because I don't know what's going on. Um, is this, what's this? Like a little pet bed. Okay, I'll try and fix this place up. I think that wall is wool, so I need to find a sheep or something. Um, let's cut down this tree yeah that's the one it meant that was the quest did I hear I thought I heard someone attack me I guess I was wrong okay so specifically this tree it wanted me to cut down the other one didn't didn't work Oh, it makes that noise when I, like, change my equipped weapon. This is a nice mod pack. Okay. Nice little touches. It's going to take a while to get used to because that's still scaring me a bit. I'm easily startled, what can I say? Um, but there we go. Okay, now it's kind of exposed how out in the open this house is. What kind of wood is this? Dark wood, dark oak wood. That's oak wood. Um, it'll just give me normal oak. And the walls are made of spruce wood. Oh my god, I haven't got the right wood for anything. Um, oh, this place is a wreck. Sure, I'll go check out the other house and see if that's in any way better. Let's have a look at my, uh, is it, what's my skill book? Select a class. Oh. Artisan. More efficient furnaces and brewing. Lumberjack. Zealot. Miner. Spelunker. Archaeologist. Farmer. Scout. Warrior. Hermit. Assassin and fisherman. Oh wow. Um I don't know what I want to be. I mean combat would be good. Zealot in your fa yeah, let's go for zealot. Why not? So I can win at the uh, in your face combat. Because that's when it really counts when you're sort of up close and personal. Is this a wagon? It is a wagon. Look, this is a wheel sort of buried in the dirt. This is another wheel in so much as Minecraft can have wheels. This is the front. Oh! Now it makes sense. It's like an old... Well, makes a little bit of sense. It's an old wagon. So what's my quest book? Okay, starting quest. 
have to sign a contract which essentially says your soul belongs to me for eternity, blah, blah, blah. Um, sign here and my rewards are a copy of the contract. That looks like a bucket and a common loot box, which will give me a random reward, which is an iron drum. Okay, brilliant. Um, what other quests did I have? A gift. Okay, so this is like just a gift from the creator. So I get 50 gold coins and a forgotten trash can. Great. Did I do anything else? Um, what's that? Bone sword. What do I have to do? I have to make a bone sword. Okay, that's one of my quests now. Um, is that my active one? I don't know how this thing works. Um, well, we've done something anyway. That's introduction. Play. Oh, is there, there's a shop as well. I can trade this gold for things. This is a lot more complicated than the Minecraft I normally play. Uh, player shop. What is this? Is this where I level up? Oh, if I get one lapis lazuli. Oh, right. Okay, I can get more rewards. Player shop, farming and agriculture, mayor position, exploration, dimensions, magic and spell casting, legendary artifacts, introduction to science. Could be fun. What do I have to do? I don't know, some stuff. Advanced science, space exploration, mystical agriculture, bosses, challenges, and unlockables. So, I don't know. I've got all sorts of crazy things I can achieve in this mod pack. Let's have a look in this house anyway. I don't think that guy is trying to kill... No, he is. He's definitely trying to kill me. Ah! Ah! And he is definitely an illager. I didn't think they existed in... Oh. Well, great. Um, that's quite the start to the series. Good thing we're not playing hardcore this time. Um, oh my god. They're dancing on my grave. Literally. Uh, I've lost all my things. And I'm going to have to wait for them to go away. <laughs> if I want to get them back. Okay, what's the, there's a bit of a sparkle over here. Is it these flowers? Are they like magic or something? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to have to start cutting down trees again. And now I've got the disadvantage that it's getting dark. Um, which isn't good. How quickly can I build a new shelter? Um, I just wanted to get into that house over there. It looked cozy. Instead, I'll have to spend the night in my wagon, like, stewing and plotting my revenge. It is annoying to die so young in Minecraft. Okay, so I've got all the wood from this tree. That's good. Uh, my grave is over there. I'm going to convert this wagon into my makeshift base. And we'll work out what's next from there. From there. So. Yes. There. That kind of works. We've got a little bit of a window. Some silkworm eggs. I don't know what they do. Um... Is that furnace burning things? It looked like it was. Um, oh, no. Mushroom can stay there. Okay. So. I need weapons. Oh, that's a chest. Not a crafting table. Oh. Oh, no. Forgot the ceiling. Okay. So, crafting table. We need sticks. 
I need a sword. Now, there's a clever way to do this. I think it's like this. You do pickaxe, axe, shovel. All my starter things, and I'll just arrange my um, priority down here. We want the sword in slot number one. Followed by pickaxe, sh axe, shovel. I think that's sort of good priority. No, apples. So we can heal. Can go in the middle. And now we play the waiting game. That is a soul lantern. I don't know what it does. It doesn't seem to light up this room anyway. Have a hat mod. How does that work? What is the hat button? See, a lot of these buttons sort of contradict each other. Can't find it. Never mind. Maybe I could start digging down underneath here. So I can at least make some kind of progress. Um, Uh-oh. There we go. Oh, there is a little gap underneath the wagon. And it is quite dark under here. I need some kind of light source. Oh my god, there's some kind of spawner. Is that like a skeleton spawner? I don't know. That's... Did I break my axe? Somehow. That's weird. Okay. So, skeleton's out, importantly. Um, maybe those illagers will move away soon enough and um, I can get over there. Just, can we put this pet bed back where it was? It is a pet bed, is it? It's a dog bed. We don't have a dog yet. But, you know, it could happen. What are these? Deposit, merge, extract, restock. The music is very relaxing. I love the soundtrack of this game. I've been playing a bit of it offline, like different mod pack to this one. And it's just, it's such a fun game to get into. Like it's always fun. Even when you're not really in the mood for it. Um, I kind of miss when Minecraft was really huge. You know, when, like a few years ago, everyone was playing it. And then last year, there was that weird thing where it got popular again for a few months. I just, I, I don't understand. It should, it should be forever on, on top. Let's see. Oh, this is annoying. Why don't I have... Oh, wait a minute. I am being silly. I could I could be very clever here. I'm in a building that's made of wool. Oh, I missed that one. And that one. There we go. Okay. I'm in a building that's made of wool. Like, why am I sitting around waiting for daylight? I can just... Use the walls. And it's uh, sleepy time. Oh crap, there's monsters nearby. Um, where are there not monsters? Can I, if I block this off, am I safe? No? 
down here. I wonder where I would have to go to be safe from the from them. Um Let's try. All right, I can see them on the map actually. They're all this side of the wall. So I don't know. pretty much trapped unless I can make a run for it outside I don't think I can so we need a backstory now I've spawned into this world and um, those got killed by that illager so that that has to form part of my backstory in this Minecraft world so I was just this is like Robocop or something I was just an innocent guy I was walking along minding my own business when I got set upon by this evil illager hunter who um, killed me for some reason or other and yeah robbed my stuff but um, actually yeah that was our, that was the first guy that was um, Connor the first and I'm now his brother Connor the second who came out here to meet his um, long lost twin brother who had sent him a letter saying to meet at the old wagon but when he got to the old wagon, his brother wasn't there because he had been murdered. And now Connor II is out to avenge his murdered brother's death. And I just noticed this is made of logs and we've got a furnace in here. Oh, there's my... How did it get in there? So yeah, we're Connor II now and we're out to avenge Connor I's death. And um, carry on his dream of... I'm not sure what his dream wa was. I'm not sure what our goal is in this uh, playthrough. If anyone has ideas, let me know. Because maybe we can come up with something fun. At least we've got a bit of light now. Oh, it's getting bright out anyway. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, we can light up this space as well. Oh, we could make our base underneath the wagon. Live in a sort of bunker or something. Oh, look, there they are. There's there's the monsters. They're the reason I couldn't sleep at night. All skeletons, are you? Okay, they're burning up. I think we'll be safe to leave in a second and go find our um, twin brother's grave and retrieve his things. And then we'll build a settlement in his honour because he always wanted to have a town of his very own. And we will found it on the place of his death, which is here, near this wagon. Um, okay, oops. Hmm. Didn't think this through. Okay. So, are the illagers still around? Oh, yeah, there he is. He's over there. And is that another one? Oh, God. Oh, crap. How, how are you alive? Ah. Okay. The outside world is not, is not as safe as I expected. Have some apples. And um, get to work, I guess. Okay, so we're going to make our base out of this wagon now. Um, because I need some armor before we can go out and take on these... Um, terrible villains oh crap don't want to open up to the sky too much so under here will be my new uh, bedroom where I'll, I'll spend my nights plotting my revenge did I 
Oh, I harvested the spawner when I broke it. I didn't know you could do that. That's a mod thing, definitely. What we need is more wood down here to uh, make this place look a little homier. It can be like a hobbit hole. I think that would be nice. So yeah, we'll dig this here. And, oh, we've got some normal wood. That'll do. We can... Oops. Put this along here. I still have that quest book, do I? Like, what was my... Let's go back to my regular quests for a minute. Have I achieved something here? It's got a little red thing. Um, if you die and lose the currency or change dimensions, notice your hard end. Okay, that's to restore money. Right click on the doggy charm. Press tilde to, or not tilde, whatever that sign is, to ore excavate and mine ore veins in one fell swoop. I didn't know that was a thing. Death inventory list. Hold the shift key as you walk over it. Okay. Oh, we got this thing, the sleep sleep award. So we can get we get the world's smallest violin, a pink balloon, a rubber chicken, or Swedish meatballs. Um I'll get a pink balloon and some money. Clipboards can be used to store ideas and personal goals in game. Oh, how do we make a clipboard? Paper, ink, feather, and oak pressure plate. Okay. Oh, and the bone sword. We need fang tooth, bone block, and river cane. Okay, there's there's lots to do to get these rewards. Okay, this will be our bedroom temporarily. That's our new spawn point, I guess. In our new house. Now, yeah, we need a way out. Um, hope that skeleton isn't around anymore. And we need to harvest some things. Wood, primarily, among them. Um, not from over there. Not where the bullies are. Kandokaz, hey, how are you? Welcome. You've joined us on um, our quest to uh, avenge our twin brother, Connor the First, who got murdered by some illagers over there. And to, like, build a town in his honour. If you can think of any other fun quests to do, then, um, you know, let me know. This is the uh, Eternal mod pack. I'm not sure who made it. I, um, I, whatchamacallit, never noted down the name, but it seems pretty cool so far. Oh, here we go, some stone. Yeah, they won't be laughing long once I've got all this coal and stone. That'll show everyone. Lou, hello, welcome. Who died? Oh, um, that was Connor the First. This is Connor the Second now. He's uh, taken over the family legacy. Yeah, it's very confusing. The parents named all their children Connor because they thought it was a really awesome name. And, and you know, it is. So um, it's just been really confusing. At, it was confusing at home. That's why they sent their firstborn Connor away to an orphanage. Um, no, sorry, Connor the sec the first they held on to. Connor the second they sent to an orphanage, because um, Connor the first was used to having parents, and 
they, you know, they didn't want to drop him into an orphanage. Connor the Second wouldn't know any better. So they sent him away, and, uh... Yeah, this is him. He was reuniting with his brother. He got lost. He does have sisters called Connor. Yeah. All of the, all of the children are. They're all the same. Did I see... Actually, there's some sort of metal over here. I'm sure I need to make an iron pickaxe to get at that. It's, um... Salt. And it's not textured in this texture pack. There's bauxite. It's a slightly wrong colour. Um... This copper. Similar, slightly wrong colour. Um, maybe I can make some sort of copper tools. And is that... That's bauxite again. What are these? Those snakes. Oh, I better not um, mess with them. We've got some granite here as well. Granite and gravel. And a lovely fountain. I don't know, is there meant to be treasure here or something? Or is it just for show? It was here when I logged in anyway. Um, okay, well, we've got enough materials now to convert our weird... To start converting our weird cabin home into... Not cabin. It's more like a carriage, isn't it? A weird carriage home. Oh, God. There's the guy. Into um, something more livable. Uh, what we need is... Lots of wood. We need some sticks. And we need to make ourselves... An iron pick. And an iron sword. And, yeah, we can get rid of you and you. And um, what, what was that other thing? There was something odd there when I put the sticks down. Oh, I can make a stick into an Akashic Tome. I don't know what that is. Um, okay, I'm going to go mine some of that metal anyway. Surely Connor the Second should be called Connor with two N. No, no, no two N Connors. It's not a real name. No, we're, we're strongly against that sort of thing. Um, the two N Connors are an abomination. Sorry to say it. It's just um, scientific fact. What's this? Amber. Okay. I'll get the copper anyway, because I think copper will be useful. The mini-map is really cool, isn't it? I really like the style of it. It's got a real sort of um, fantasy feel to it. I don't know if we can make armor with copper. I think that's what we need, though. starting to get dark. We're going to have to head back now. That snake is getting a little bit too close for comfort. What? What's this? Is this salt again? Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Is that iron? Is that iron? It's bauxite. I don't even know what bauxite is for. Look, leave me alone, snake. I have no quarrel with you and your slithery brethren. Oh, there's lamps on this thing. I could use the, this fountain. I could repurpose it into something really nice if I really wanted to. Um, what are the plans? Um, well, we're going to try and build a town or settlement in um, Connor the First's memory. Because this is the spot where we were meant to meet him for the first time. Oh, oh crap. They're the things I threw away. Um... Sorry, short memory. Okay, I'm going to get downstairs and get some sleep. Where's my entrance? Now we can figure out what to do with this copper. Is there not meant to be like a... Oh, there it is. I knew there was a search bar in this somewhere. Um, And what is it you press? 
U copper ingot. No, I have to, sorry, type it. There we go, okay. We can make copper tools with it, which is good. Copper armor, amazing. Okay, I'm going back upstairs. I'm going to dare the top level of the um, wagon house. Let's see what we can find. Oh, the skeleton has been replaced with a chicken. Okay, let's start smelting all this down. I've got a queen bee as well. I'm not sure what that's for. Um, can I place my pink balloon anywhere? Oh no, come back! Oh god, it's deflated now. Oh, I can blow it up again. And then, um... Presumably... Throw it over there, just to distract the enemy. Oh, I could throw eggs at them as well. Five. Okay, well, that's a few. That's enough to do this with. Oh, I need food as well. I've only got this little apple. I haven't been thinking properly. I haven't been outsourcing food or anything. I've been too consumed with thoughts of revenge. Can I get... Can I eat squid? Take that, Squidward. No, I got some ink from him. Um, oh yeah, raw calamari. Which I presumably can cook. Into a delicious meal. And some sugar cane. I needed paper for something. And look, another fountain. Okay, there's quite a lot of things in this world. Um, let's keep the sugar cane growing. Because we need a lot of paper. Um... Oh yeah, it was to make a clipboard. That's our first plan. Our first plan is to make a clipboard. And then we can use the clipboard to make further plans. I think that's probably a good way to do it. Okay, where is this copper? Perfect. And then just enough to make a sword. Fry up some calamari so we can restore some health. Oh yeah, this was meant to be. Oh god, it's not very nutritious. Maybe if I just have one more bite. And now... I actually don't need the stone sword anymore. I'm being very wasteful, but... Okay. Now we are going to kill the man who killed my brother. Although he's got lots of friends here, so it might be dangerous. Come here, you. There we go. Oh, vengeance is ours. Did he drop a load of snakes? Oh my god, he exploded into snakes. And there's a little crow there and everything. Okay. Oh my god, there it is. force what do I do um sorry how does this work items in my inventory will not move I don't know I'm gonna have to figure out how this grave works um it was in my quest book somewhere oh he dropped a load of pork chops as well cooked ones too um 
Okay, graves, graves, graves. After dying, follow, retrieve your inventory, hold the shift key and walk over it. Ah, okay. So there we go. Okay, that's a lot of our new stuff. We can get rid of some of our things we're holding. These, yeah, I wanted that happy welcome thing. White wool, um, the bones, do we need that? We don't need industrial hemp seeds. We don't need a broken sword. Okay, I'll take the wood. Um, oh God, I'm not even sure what's worth anything here. Surely that bucket is worth something. Um, Oh, crap, 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 the other one. The other one's here. Oh. Great. That's lovely. So, Connor the Third has been um, strolling through the countryside. Connor the Second called him to uh, come to the party to celebrate avenging the death of Connor the first and yeah he showed up only to find that uh, his brother had unfortunately since been murdered by the brother of the original murderer and he has come to perpetuate this uh, evil cycle and make sure it keeps going by ensuring there is more murder now we have to wait for this guy to get out of the way or we can run up and grab the stuff and then run away really quick. I think we can wait for him to turn around or something. Maybe at night time? I don't know. At least we've got a little bit of a house now. Um, But I'm not starting from scratch with my harvesting and everything. No. You know what? Feck it. I'm just going to walk over it with a spade, shift and run. Okay. And yeah, armor's back. Stuff is back. The guy... Is the guy still coming after me? I don't think he is. And so, on this day, the Connor family moved on from the wagon house because it was cursed. And they could never find any happiness there. Uh, let's get rid of these spawner shards. Um, no, I don't know what's... Dark oak wood planks. So yeah, we're, we're going to go live somewhere else. We'll let those guys have their little cabin over there. I don't care anymore. Go live in a better spot. Make a lovelier town. Um... I'll look out for somewhere cool. If you guys see anywhere, then let me know. How is everybody today, anyway? Any news? I put in a bid on my house, and um, I haven't heard back yet, but I've been in suspense all day. Oh, wow, some gravestones. This is um, this is actually the grave of Connor Sr., who was the first one to come out here. <laughs> no one knew what happened to him until now. We've just uh, found his remains. Look, some llamas, some chickens yeah we're going to find a nice biome to build our base in and then we're going to do all kinds of crazy quests and stuff um i don't know i don't know what we're looking for but i think we'll know it when we see it My phone is buzzing an awful lot. I, oh my god. What the hell is this? God, there's lava coming towards it, whatever it is. I I better not go down there. Um, I think I'm going to have to camp out under the stars for an evening. Oh, it's not actually dark yet. It's just getting there.
That's the other Connor. The, that's the sister Connor texting. It is. She's just like, hey guys, where are we having the big meetup? Looking forward to seeing everyone again. After you all got sent to separate orphanages. No, I should probably check just to make sure it's not someone saying, hey Connor. Um, yeah, you got the house. No, it's not. Wouldn't that have been really funny if it was, though? I don't know how I'd have reacted. Would I keep streaming? Would I, you know, play it cool? Look at these chickens having a fight. L Do not fight, my chicken friends. Learn to appreciate your brothers, for you never know when the cruel hand of fate may take them from you. Um... Okay, looks like we've got a nice sort of a nice turquoisey hill over here. I mean, that could be good. It's kind of a nice color. It looks a little bit magical or something. I don't know what the biome in particular is. Maybe I can check. Is it F3? Um, at oh, somewhere in there. Meniglin. A Meniglin biome. I don't know what Meniglin means. I don't know if it's a real word, but... Oh, look, there's a house. There's a ruined church or something over here. Is that a village? It looks like there's already a village out here where we were looking to found one. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. What the hell are you? Um, Leave me alone. I think it's a zombie of some kind. It's a bound soul. Yeah, you, you get out of here. Yeah, you better run. Just had to do that sort of show of force. Because you can never let a bully win. What? What happened there? Someone throw some slime balls or something. Okay. Well, there's a ruined church thing over here. And maybe I can rebuild this into my house. I think that would be good. Because there's already a town over there. Let's just renovate this place and make it our new base of operations. And then we can just pop into the town over here whenever we need anything. Like, I'm sure they, don't want, they won't mind. What's this? Trap door. Okay. Hello. Villagers. Oh my god. A plague doctor. I see. Okay. This this place seems okay. It's full of plague doctors. Is is this village infected with the plague? You okay? He's a cleric. He seems all right. Yeah, I think this will this look could be it. And look, it's another one of these things. Excuse me, what are you? An engineer. I see. This is sky stone. Oh, so it's like a meteor. Wait, what? What? Oh my god, it's a dog. Well, let's get a dog first before we do anything else. Oh, is he already taken? I think he belongs to the village, unfortunately. I could kill him and steal his hat, but I think that would be a bit ruthless. Um, oh, look, there's something else on that hill. This mod pack just has filled the world with so much wonder. Yeah, I think I'm going to renovate that old space over here. We're going to gentrify this village a bit. Rather than start a new one. What are you? A farmer? I see. Covid town. Probably is with all the plague doctors, yeah. They're on lockdown. That's why nobody's um, out and about. Okay, so what can I turn this place into? Um, 
What sort of wood is the floor? It's oak wood. I've got a bit of oak wood. I've got some cobblestone. Yeah, I think I can do something with this place. Oh god. What's going on there? Slime? Hello? Not sure what this is about, but um, would you please leave without a fuss? There we go. Okay, so let's patch this place up. Um, oh, there's another one. They seem to spawn in that water over there or something. I don't know. Well, I won't let them get me in, get me down. Got a few torches. Let's see, what would this building have originally looked like? I don't think this wood should be here. Oh my god, there's more of them. Is there a spawner here? There must be. There must be a spawner under the floor or something. Like, I can't live here if it's going to be full of slimes. I, I think that's um, probably a bit much. But let's do what I can with the place. If we dig out the basement and find that there's... Um, a spawner under there then we'll cross that bridge when we come to it oh they're coming from up there oh crap we're underneath a slime island they're just going to literally fall from the sky Arleth hello welcome how are you okay Hmm. Maybe that is a bit dangerous. You know what? We'll, we'll make do with it. We'll just have a look around to see if there's anything else interesting I can use. I'm pretty good, thanks. Put an offer in, in on my uh, new house today. My hopeful, hopefully new house. And haven't heard back yet. So, kind of waiting for news on that. Maybe I could build in this valley over here. where there isn't slime rain coming down from the sky. We can gentrify the church afterwards, but just as like a little house, I think, yeah, we'll, we'll make something here. Because we've had bad luck getting started in this so far. I haven't been able to settle on anything, but I'm gonna dig out the foundations for my new house. Okay, my tools broke. I'm going to dig out the foundations for my new house and we're going to build it right here. My new Minecraft house, not my new real life house. Um, that will not be in Minecraft. Oh look, there's like a little cave over here. We can incorporate this into the house eventually, I think. That can be our mine. That will be our mine and this will be our crafting space. And then we'll be pretty much living up to everything we need to do in this uh, in this game. It is raining slime and murder. But not for long. We are going to build the greatest house here. The most ideal place from which to stage our um, eventual, I don't know what our long-term goal is, our eventual revenge on the world that has wronged us so much in such a short amount of time. God, I need to make another shovel. These tools are lasting no time. I should have made it out of cobblestone, but I didn't because I'm an idiot. Here we go. Much better.
Is that a proper plant? Oh look, it is. Is it like a pepper plant or something? And this is the new house. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Let's just uh, turn in for the night. Oh, we can't. It's not dark enough yet. Look, do we have to wait until like 11 o'clock or something? See, there's a little clock at the top right-hand corner above the mini-map. Maybe it's 10.30. It is 10.30. Okay. So what do we need now? We've got our house. We need to build a chest so that I don't have to carry all of this crap around with me everywhere I go. We'll stick it over here and I don't know. Pretty much everything. No, I'll keep my cobblestone. That's for building. Hmm, that's weird. I've got golden apples. I wasn't paying attention to those. Um, okay, we've got an axe. I'm going to build a better axe, actually. Because this house is going to need some logs. Um, and I don't know what kind of logs. Do we have... Is there any oak around here? This is um, some awful untextured tree. I think this one is oak. This will do. It's close enough to oak. Yeah, it is oak. It's oaky doak with me. go. Plenty of saplings, plenty of uh, apples. Yeah, this is a good start. Um, look, there's another cave over here as well. I've still been watching the, my uh, cave-in videos on YouTube that I'm weirdly hooked on. It's just so hypnotic watching people squeeze into tiny caves. I, I can't explain it, but I love it, even though I'd absolutely hate to ever have to do it. Okay. So we're going to start like this. With a general house frame. Expensive as it is. I'm going to need to cut down a lot more trees. It's secondhand claustrophobia watching the videos. So do I. I think that's part of the fun. Miss Glaceon, hello. Haven't seen you in a while. Have I played Fall Guys yet? I haven't, no. I've heard of it. That's the thing with the guys with the floppy arms, isn't it? I don't have it, um, so I don't own it yet or anything, but I'd consider getting it. Um... Though my next gaming purchase I've decided is I'm going to get Pokemon on my Switch. Because I'm in a real Pokemon mood. And I kind of decided that, you know, I would buy it as a present to myself when my house offer is um, accepted. Because I was like, oh, you know. I shouldn't probably shouldn't be spending money frivolously until that. Until I know how much money I'll need. But um, I'm also kind of thinking, you know, forget that. I'll... I like Pokemon too much. I'll just buy it anyway. So, who knows? It's free if I have PS4 Plus. Oh, I haven't even gotten a P got a PS4, unfortunately. I have a PS3 and a Nintendo Switch. No, I haven't gotten Sword or Shield yet. I bought Shield as a present for one of my friends for their birthday, like, over the weekend. And it just, you know... Just buying it for someone else got me thinking, oh, I wish I was buying this for me. So, um, I don't know. I'm, I'll get it tomorrow, maybe. 
It kind of uh, depends on if my offer, house offer, is accepted. It doesn't really. I'm going to buy it anyway. This is a classic Connor Minecraft house. Um, let's see. I think all of these should be one thing taller, unfortunately. Which is going to be a bit of a challenge. You know, that's enough for now. Um, I'll just start with the cobblestone next. to mine some more I can get some copper while I'm at it I can see some up here I'm not going into the cave yet get this coal up here as well like um, coal porter they called him that because of how good he was at finding coal in Minecraft if you let coal porter log into your Minecraft server and um, just, you know, let him loose. He would find you coal within the first two minutes of playing, no matter what the seed. He was renowned for it. He actually has the same birthday as me. Like, not year, obviously. He's like, you know, a hundred years older than me or something. Well, maybe not a hundred. But, um... Yeah. That, that's where the whole thing came from. He also invented coal stall. Little known fact. I mean, there were other slaws, but um, he's the one who thought of putting the, like, uh, carrot in it. Candocas hasn't played Pokemon in six months. Oh, well, like, I'm going to get back into Pokemon. I think you're my Switch friend. I'll definitely battle your trade you or something at some stage. It'll be fun. It looks like a it looks like a pretty good game. Like I see you can buy it with the expansion pass. And I think that would that would be nice. You know, get really get a lot of Pokemon for my money. I have been listening to like the TV show theme tunes and stuff to psych myself up. Oh my god. Didn't think that one through. I think it melted. No, I, I got the copper. What is... Oh yeah, it's just where the lava hits water. Okay. A lot of these little effects this mod pack has. I'm unfamiliar with them. Um, here we go anyway. Yeah, cobble walls should be fine. Cobble wobbles. Um, let's see. I think my doorway should be. Let's see if I do. I can do a door dead center, actually. Yeah. No. Maybe? No. I'd be, yeah. I don't know. My door is going to be in one of these spots. It can go here. Or, let's see, if I put it to one side. No, it'll look weird. I'll do it there. I'm very indecisive. Um, yeah, that's what I wanted. And then along here, same thing. Amazing. So, we just do a bit of this. Um get my walls up to an acceptable height uh, then we're gonna have some windows at like this level and the roof is going to keep going up actually should it maybe I should no I'll change what I'll change it on the top layer
this doesn't even need to be that impressive. This is just like my starter house, but I just feel like um, I should put the effort in. There we go. So windows there. Windows there. Yeah, this is looking good. It's starting to get dark, but um, we've, we've got some daylight left yet. Oh no. I haven't even decided what kind of building this is going to be. Is it just going to be a house? Will it be like, it could be like a tavern for adventurers to come by. Or could make it into like a mansion or something. I hope the house I'm buying is, is as nice as this. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I don't know. I mean, it, it sort of lacks that earthy appeal of, you know, being like built out of randomly piled up cobblestone and a couple of logs. But it, it's still pretty nice. Like, it, it's a decent house. God, my first glass of water actually lasted me the first half of the stream. That very rarely happens. I'm going to be spoiled now. From now on. There's another game I was thinking of trying that um, I got in the steam sale a while back i think it was it was uh, called niche and it seemed a little bit like spore it was a sort of like evolutionary game which i thought could be fun to stream at some point or maybe i'll just play it single player yeah what are these are these fire starters oh okay i don't think we need to start a fire There's a proper temple on top of this hill. Yeah, it looked kind of fun. It looked like if you crossed Spore with a board game or something. Like it was quite, it, I think it's quite cheap anyway. So I might, I might give it a go. It's just sitting in my library unplayed at the moment. Because I've been playing actual Spore quite a bit. Trying to uh, wipe out the Grox which has been a slow and arduous process. I don't know if I'll get time in to do it today. I probably won't, but um, maybe I'll fit in some more Grox Warfare tomorrow. I worked out it'll take me something, it'll take me something like 20 weeks, but then I'm about halfway through that. So if, if I played at the rate I'm playing for like 10 more weeks and just kept taking their planets, I think I just might be able to beat them. And get that stupid achievement. I'm going to need to get some uh, sand to make some glass as well. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's the door. So then we have the frame. Now, those windows are each too wide. They match up with the other side. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Um, I need lots of wood for the floors now, which is good because I've got my axe. And we've got this weird little tree over here. Maybe I can make it from whatever wood this is. Juniper wood. It's not textured properly. I, th I don't think so. Um... I got a texture pack that's specifically for this mod pack, so I'm a little annoyed that there are some things missing. You know, I'll get whatever wood this is. Pine? Okay. We're going to have pine floors. Th that's a good thing, isn't it? People, people want pine floors. 
Are oak floors better than pine? I've I know these are the kind of things I need to know for my new house, presumably, but I haven't a clue. Is it the final achievement I need? No, far from it. It's just the most difficult one to get, and um, I figure if I get that, then there's you know there isn't as much point in um, worrying about all the others. I can pretty much consider my work done. Let's see. Okay. It's not actually a particularly nice floor, is it? That'll do. No, I'm not going to complain. Um, now I am, because I cut down a whole tree and didn't even get enough pine wood. And once we've got our house here and somewhere safe to work from, we can, you know, really get down to all the, um, mod pack madness. Whatever that entails. Oh, wow. Look at that mountain face. Wouldn't that be cool to, like, build something on? If that was, like, the gateway to, like, a huge castle or something. Long-term goals. Uh, for now, like, that's that's the stretch goal. For now, we just literally need somewhere to live. Where we're not going to get murdered by illagers in the middle of the night. Oh, crap. I need to pay more attention to where I'm standing. Ah! Clearly, I just haven't learned my lesson. Um, oh, there we go. Thirty-six. I'm not sure that's enough. I think I'm going to need even more pine wood. Um, which is a real shame because I seem to have cut down the pine trees. Oh no, it's not. It's a bound soul. And there's some sort of little farm over there. Hang on. Hang on. You get out of here. Yeah, we don't need you. Um, What's this? It, it is just a tiny farm. What's that over there? A black thing. It looks like a thing with two arms in the air, but I know that's just a trick of whatever angle I'm looking at it. It's an optical illusion. Oh, look at that natural archway over there. It's annoying once you, like, pick the place to build your base. You start finding all these amazing spots that would have worked better. Um, you know what? I'm living with my choice. This is spruce wood. This isn't pine. Oh, no. I thought they were the same thing, but, um, no. Look at these crystal flowers. Oh, yeah. We have one of those. I don't know what they do. We got an achievement or something for finding one. Okay, I think that's a pine tree over there. I think that is the last pine tree in the world. So we're going to have to creep up on it very quietly. And now it's a larch. It's Larch Voorhees from Saved by the Bell. She um, stood in one spot far too long and her feet took root and she transformed into a tree. Build Mount Rushmore. Yeah, I'll, I'll build outwards from here to nice things. I will. But, you know, th this will be our starting base anyway let's see how these um pine things are going to go i am going to have to go on like some sort of pine quest i think 
Oh no, wait. Hang on. I can just do this. There we go. <clears throat> I haven't completely forgotten the old Minecraft tricks. Frozen? No. This pack takes up like a phenomenal amount of RAM to run. It's like over 8 gigs, I think. Which is quite large for Minecraft. this is the house we need like a door and stuff still but it, it's progress we can put our bed down somewhere um i don't know how we're going to divide the place up but okay the bed can go in this corner for now and um my crafting table can go over here What's a pine, what does a pine door look like? I mean, that's pretty nice. What have we got a red orchid? Yeah, I mean, that's okay. It's got a few too many holes in it, but it'll, it'll do. It'll keep the monsters out. I think. I'll build like a better door in the morning, like a, an oak one or something. Yeah, what what would an oak door look like or a spruce door? Let's go for spruce. The old spruce caboose. Oh yeah. Sorry, pine door, you have just been usurped in coolness. That is what I need. Nice big solid bit of wood. It's very manly. Okay, we need um Furnaces. Let's do uh, three of them. And what I'm going to do is put them over here. Yeah, maybe like this. Oh, right, the ceiling. The ceiling's going to have to go along here. Um, yeah, these are going to be like this because it's going to be like a chimney coming out above them. Um, I, yeah, I think that'll be a fun way to do it. Don't know what I'll do for the roof yet. Um, no, I'm, I know what I'm going to do. I've got ideas. I'm going to cook a lot of cobblestone. Get some smooth stone up on the roof. This is all coming together. I have to go up and get some coal there. Or maybe, no. You know what? Let's go brave the mines. Um, I don't have any food. Maybe not. No, we'll go. We'll take a look. I'll grab my pork chops and we'll have a look in the cave. Wherever it was. Where are my pork chops? I've got raw ones. I, oh, they're there. I have them already. Never mind. hell is that? Hello? Mr. Axe? Can, can I help you? A haunted tool. Interesting. It seems friendly enough anyway. It's not going after me. Um, Oh, I don't have I don't have enough coal to light up the or torches to light up the mine properly. Everything is just coming down to the coal shortage. It's like 
I know. It's like a northern English town or something. Everything's about the coal. And we're running out. Ah, there's plenty up here. Pork chops, definitely not your favourite. I do like pork chops. Well, I like pork in general. Pulled pork, especially. But I think that's just because I like barbecue sauce. In fact, like... One thing I realised, I really like to order pizza from Pizza Hut of all places. And I've distilled the my reasoning down to... Because they do really nice barbecue sauce that I smother absolutely everything in. Can we twerk at trees? Um, I don't know. I haven't tried. I don't think so. How do I do the um, third person? Oh, yeah. Let's see what I look like. Pretty good, I think. Now, where are my blocks? Let's cook a few more of them. How do I do the thing with these? Is it that thing? This thing? Yes. I want to have a lot of these tiles um, up on the roof. Perhaps they can make up the whole ceiling. Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. This is what I wanted. Because um, I don't think monsters can spawn on these. Because they're only like half a tile. They don't count as a tile. So it'll keep our roof monster free. And, you know, full of shine and bounce. torches um i'll do them better later right now i'm just in the don't fill my house with monsters phase of decorating anything that achieves that goal is um is a win anything more complicated is a luxury Leave it open above there. Let's see. Is that my door creaking? I don't like that. Maybe it's just the wooden floorboards underneath supporting my weight. Also, I don't like that. <laughs> it's making me very worried about uh, living in this house. This is Minecraft, not like the haunting of Hill House. Season two of that was meant to come out, wasn't it? I mean, I haven't heard anything about it lately. Oh, Papa John's. Papa John's are quite nice as well. Used to order from Papa John's quite a lot, but I kind of got bored of them because we, I think we ordered them too many times. They do a good sort of thick pizza, though. Like, you, you do get a lot. It's a very filling meal. Oh, I love The Haunting of Hill House. Yeah, it's really good. Um, I, well, I mean... I think it might lose momentum a little bit towards the end. In hindsight. But it's, like, a very good show. It does the scares very well. It's something that you should watch in the dark, on your own, without taking breaks.
you know, you you want to get the proper horror experience for it. I actually noticed that um, some cinemas have opened up around here and um, I was looking online and like I suppose there's no new films coming out for them to put on. So they're just all showing like old ones, which is very cool. I saw there's one cinema somewhere and they're like showing the Lord of the Rings trilogy at the moment, which would be amazing. I'd like to see on the big screen again. Also, going by the runtime, I'd say they're showing the extended ones because, you know, it's got the runtime of the first film at like four hours and 20 minutes. And even if you account for ads, like before and after, well, before, you wouldn't have ads afterwards. But if you account for the ads beforehand, that still seems, you know, very long for the Fellowship of the Ring. Um, I'm out of coal again. It should be a regular cinema thing. Yeah, like, I definitely would pay for that experience to rewatch some, like, some of the classics. Oh, sugar cane. We can maybe make our paper clip. Not paper clip, uh, clipboard. Make the paper for our clipboard. have to get up to the coal again I definitely saw some up here somewhere there it is these like temple-y fountain things seem to be all over the place you like the dirt texture yeah it's pretty nice though I think that one on the way up isn't dirt I think that's like granite or something oh these ones are dirt yeah it is a good texture Oh, I've got all the way up here. My tool is broken and it's getting dark. Brilliant. Oh my god, look, there's some kind of mound up here. Oh, it's a dungeon, I think. It's like a passage tomb full of zombies. I think I'm going to leave it. Um... I'll come back tomorrow. Is that a tower over there? I think it is. Such an interesting landscape. Maybe this house can... Where, what happened to my bed? Oh. I forgot I'd taken it with me. Um, yeah, maybe I can build this house a sort of modular way. Like, we'll just keep ex expanding rooms on it. And we'll sort of change up their style as we build them. And, um, you know get them fancier as we have access to more kinds of materials. Yeah, that, that looks pretty good inside. I think outside I'm going to have to do a little bit of work. Where's my dirt? I don't have any dirt. Oh, no. always need a little bit of dirt. Yeah, up here. Um, I'll just fill in this area. I think I'll do them double height around the edges as well because I'm a real masochist and I want to create lots of work for myself. Um, it'll be worth it though. get like a nice house out of this and then we've got to work on um the other thing the windows i forgot the word for windows for a second
Your local cinema showed the Game of Thrones finale. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I bet that aged like milk. What a disappointment. Um, I remember years ago, it was in 2013 when um, they were doing the 50th anniversary special of Doctor Who. I was I had tickets to go to the Excel Center and, you know, be there for the whole big celebration. And it was brilliant. It was like a great day and everything. But originally they hadn't planned on screening the episode there, even though, you know, it's the day the episode airs. All the fans are going to be in one place. So someone finally thought of this at the last minute and then they could only fit like half the pe half of the ticket holders into the screening. So um, there was a raffle and luckily I got tickets. I could go to the screening. But um, then all of the cast and like the crew of Doctor Who were at the convention there all day. But do you think they like any of the actors stuck around to watch it no they all went off to some special screening in like the royal albert hall or something somewhere fancy oh that like that's nice i like this sort of roof triangle thing i've invented it just seemed kind of bad form that uh you know uh, you i think they should have at least stayed and watched it with the fans Rather than going off to their big fancy screening. Is my stream still up? On my, um, it's frozen on my own thing. I guess it's still up. Nobody said anything. Oh yeah, it's back. I guess it's just my own internet blipping out a little bit. I'm really tempted to actually buy Pokemon tonight so that I can download it overnight and it'll be there tomorrow. But I know once I get it, then I'll never do anything else with my life for like the next few weeks. It will just take over. So I, I suppose I should be cautious. I'm getting rid of this thing. I didn't like it when I saw it from down the side. This is what I want. Oh. Almost. Almost there. Actually, I'll go get some sand while the rest of that gravel cooks. Because I think I have a shovel. And I think there's some sand over here. Yes. Yes. I hope they do another big thing for like the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who because that's coming up quite soon. But um, I don't know, I suppose with COVID, I'm pretty sure they won't or at least not to the same degree, which is a shame. Because I'd love to go again, It, you know, get the chance to see the actors in person and stuff. get someone to sign my uh, Doctor Who RPG books. I've got t one of them signed by Tom Baker. Um, who, yeah. I've, well, I've told the story before. He did He did not laugh at my joke. <laughs> oh my god. What are, you, what are you? Are these sprouts? They look like um, Jiminos from, um, whatchamacallit? Stardew Valley. Okay. Maybe I can be friends with them or something. Once I've got the house built, I can do all sorts of, you know, experimentation and exploring with these guys. Um, I'm going to have to take back some of this coal. There we go. Amazing. That's too many slabs. 
but I'm going to make good use of them, so I don't really care. Um, there we go. Okay, and I need something over here. This is going to be the chimney. So I think what I should do is... No, not that. Oh, no. Do I still have a pickaxe? That's the opposite of what I wanted to do. Um... I wanted to, oops. Do something like this. So we've got a little chimney on the top. And then with the extra slabs, maybe I can um, do something out here. Could I? Yeah. That's pretty nice. Um, okay, I don't know what this gap in the middle is for. I'll have to figure that out. But, um, yeah, this is all right. Lots of glass. And soon this house will be like hermetically sealed and nobody will get in or out. No monsters of any kind. I think I just need to cook one of these stone actually. And maybe all of these pork chops while I've got the flame going just so I can. No, that doesn't look good. I thought it would have a similar texture to the um, other ones, but it doesn't. Okay, well, we'll come back to that. It's not important right now. Um, let's see. I only need one more bit of glass. Good, because that's all I'm getting. I can get one bit of cobblestone back to go in there before um, that finishes up. And I need enough to make a new pickaxe, but yeah, there we go. No, no, it's going to burn out. Oh. Come on. Great. Perfect. Okay, so. Ta-da. Ta -da. I've got four extra, so... Oh no, I've only four extra. Hang on. There we go. Lovely. Beautiful. What a house. I wish this was the house I'm buy I was buying because this is truly like amazing. Um Okay, now we need a a replacement pickaxe. Uh, a storage chest I can go oh I don't know over here now I can put everything into there all the things so that I can ooh that's a bit rough getting out the door um that second chest here we go okay I mean it's not organized it's not nice but 
it's something. It's some sort of storage system. We'll make it better. Um, and I wanted... To, oh, I wanted to do one more thing. With this. Um, with this wood. I think. If I remember the recipe right. No, I don't. Clearly. Um, how do I make a fence? Uh huh. Okay. There we go. I don't even think I need six of them, but. Well, it looks kind of nice. Perfect. Okay. Chimney's a little bit weird, but I think this is a lovely, like, starter house to begin our, um, our base with. So, what do I need next? Let's have a look at the quest book. Haven't much time left, so we'll figure this out and then get started on it. Where is my quest book? Where is my food? Actually, oh, I've got it here. I wanted to build a clipboard. So for that, I can get the paper, I can get the feather. Let's go get the feather. There was a chicken just snooping about over here earlier. I'm sure we can grab a feather from him. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. There's a few of them. Perfect. And we need a bit of paper. <clears throat> Which is in plentiful supply. Excellent. I wonder if we can use the sky stone from that meteor to build something. Like to build our like proper final fortress. Um what have I got? Yeah, sugar canes. Which we use to make paper like this. And then I need some of my wood back to make um, pressure plate. That was it. Oh, I need my ink as well. And then I think I can just do clipboard. And crap, it needs to be oak. Um, Okay. There we go. We've got our clipboard and we can mark in our very first quest, which is build starter house. Done. So that's good. We can come up with like more goals to um, look into. Actually, no, I'm not even going to put this thing back in there. To save space, I'm going to just get rid of it out, outside here. Okay, so you guys, we, we, we need to come up with some sort of goals here. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Um, let's see. I'll, um, I'll try to think of a few myself as well. I mean, what can we do with that sky stone? Yeah, I think the clipboards are from this mod pack. Um, they're not in the vanilla game, but they're very handy. Oh, and I got a reward from my quest book for it. It gave me, let's see, steak and chips, 50 coins, and a loot reward. Okay. Strawberry jelly. I like strawberry jelly. Okay, so that's good. Strawberry is an excellent flavour of jelly. Um, 
what else do we need to do? Okay, we'll need to make a boat and go for a paddle. He protect, he attack, and most importantly, he got your back. Little turtle buddy. What? Get three gunpowder and I get a little turtle buddy. Okay. Got a potato launching device. There's an awful lot in here. Okay, so this tome can be placed in my crafting window. Any guidebook to create a personal library on the go. Oh! Sorry, that tome thing. So it did have a use. Okay, so that's a quest done as well. And I get a coal generator. Okay, that's nice. And a dark oak bookcase. Lovely. Um... Where's my dark oak bookcase? There we go. Okay, it's a little small. I thought it would be bigger. Does it have underwater ruins now? I think it does, actually. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Boat is a good idea. Okay, so let's... We'll put it on the clipboard. We have... Um, build... Boat. That's something for us to do. I mean, that's a pretty quick one. We can probably do that easy enough. It's a short-term goal. Um, construct a ship and assemble the structure. What do I need? Steam engine, passenger seat, air balloon. Oh, is this... This is an airship, I think. So you've got air balloons. Oh, I didn't know that was in this mod pack. Okay, so, yeah. Sorry, we're not going to build just any boat. We're going to build an airship. Build an airship and explore the seven skies. What does the coal generator do? Do I need to power it? Or does it just make coal? Oh, it needs crystal flux and... I don't know what that is. Um... Is it a type of power or something? Okay, they're batteries. Um, okay, I think we, yeah, I think we need like a power source for it. Can we get like a solar panel or something? Solar panel. Needs really fancy things. Okay, well, we'll build up to that. Um, Electricity. Slash. Crystal flux. Crystal flu. Crystal flu. That's the next thing after COVID. Um, everyone's, go everyone's going to be on the lookout for it. We'll have it before anyone else. What happened to the map? How is it so big now? Also, this book I have. How does that work again? Ah, right. It can turn into any book somehow. Um, how do I do that? Use while holding to open. Oh, right. I can flick it back. Okay. This is good. So, the important lesson here is I... Do I still need my quest book with this? Okay, no. It doesn't become a quest book. But it becomes every other kind of book, so that's fine. That's uh, pretty good. See, is it safe outside? Not quite. Okay, it's coming up at 9 o'clock. I'll probably sleep 
and then um, finish up here because, you know, I don't really have time to start on anything new. We've built this nice little house anyway in this um, first session. We've lost two of our loyal brothers, loyal long lost brothers, but they will be avenged and we will eventually build up, I don't know, some sort of fortress here, I think. Yeah, but around this house, we're going to build out and build a big proper like Minecraft super fortress. But um, it's going it's going to take time to get going. So, um, yeah, if you've enjoyed this stream and you want to watch it again, I'll be uploading it to YouTube. That's NinjaConnor86. If you're already watching on YouTube and you want to catch me live next time, it's twitch.tv slash NinjaConnor. Um, that's all for today. Until next time, goodbye.